the hitchhiker of the Pharaoh show, Gyuri. It's January 2013, it's cold, it's late, I'm tired, I'm knackered. I don't know where I'm going to sleep and I'm on my way to film you the, um, some pyramids, the first ones when the pharaohs came here. So I just had a bite here, just sitting at a bus stop. And um, yeah. So at these moments, it's only experience that can, you know, just keep on walking like on radar. That can save you. So you see, snow, it's cold. Um, so in winter, it's very important to have one of these inflatable mattresses. I've got inside uh, an, an artificial sleeping bag and um, outside the, uh, the down feathers. So that keeps you really warm in winter. Very cold. So you see, sporting ground that forms an excellent place for a hiker or a revolutionary to put your tent. And just notice how I put it behind the, uh, the publicity shields here. And not on the field itself, but there's always a bit of place uh, next to it, you know. And uh, where the trees are a little bit like. And um, I mean, every town, even the most little towns, they have a sporting ground. Sometimes you have to go over the fence like here. But anyway, there's a place where nobody comes in the night. Never put your tent or sleep in a public park. You will only be waking up by queers or by the police. So, it is cold though. See, behind us. Always look for a, uh, a place where they can't really see you. Well, there I am, behind the pyramids. It's all over. Behind the, th the Hotel of the Three Pyramids. <laughs> uh, here you can see, as always, I took the, uh, with my foot, I took the snow away. Because even uh, through the mattress it melts. Through the isolation mattress. Uh, hi. Hi guys. Just packing up my gear. Oh, my hands are freezing. Well, okay, if you want to change something in the world and you want to be a YouTube fighter, I have to uh, make a little sacrifice then, eh? It'll warm up later. So I told you, this is where my mattress was, in the tent, and the snow has melted. Can you imagine how much body warmth um, you would have lost, you know, like if, if you wouldn't have a, uh, a isolation mattress. And even then, well, I wasn't cold, but even now, uh, this is the amount of body uh, warmth I lost in the night, see? So I'm on my way for you to film a, um, a 4,000 year old pyramid in France which was built by the pharaohs of course um, and where they built their first pyramid in Europe before they uh, went to the strong mountains and founded Octagon. So this is where I slept at the devil's home. Uh, nobody has seen anything at the Hotel of the Three Pyramids. So that's the motorway, I'm near Lyon and I'm heading for the uh, 4,000 year old pyramids in France. Isn't it lovely here? Nice little forest here. Oh, yeah. Nobody would come here in the night. So 
I still had a donut kebab in my um, in my backpack, which I had in here for two days. I'm eating it cold now. Look delicious <laughs> for breakfast. This is uh, very important to have this um, weather protection around it if it's raining or snowing here as well. You can't travel without it. So I'm 100 k short of uh, of Nice. It's a whole different landscape here. This is what we know of France, which is actually a very tiny part of France. And there's my petrol station, where I'm going to now. So, another obelisk in the middle of nowhere. I sense this is here. There's my tent, and there's the uh, the motorway where I'm going to. I sense that this is the uh, uh, this is where they landed before they founded Switzerland and their their real strong mountains, their base. But there will be a massive concentration of pharaonic blood here. I'll have a look. Well, anyway, I'm going to videotape the uh, 4,000 year old pyramid. It's from the last hitchhiker that was here. Uh, there's the obelisk. And I think there's something up the mountain here. So this is a sign to, uh, to show what's here. I'm going to have a look for you. So the wind you hear is uh, the famous French Mistral. Uh, but I found a good place. It's all going overhead, over the top here. No wind here, absolutely no. Uh, so down there is Nice somewhere, Nizza. And uh, so I was trying, after five days of hitchhiking and a lot of walking, I tried to find the pyramid in the night, but I didn't find it. So that's me. I'm near to the pyramid now. So I walked the whole way to the pyramid from Nice and then from the pyramid and all the way out of Nice. So I'm out of Nice here, well I hope. So there's the airport in Nice. I'm in the middle of a lot of motorways here. It's about everything that makes noise that I'm in the middle here. And there's a train passing by every, I don't know what. Nice tree though. So there's the petrol station I'm going to. Uh, last night I was uh, hitchhiking with a, uh, with a Bulgarian truck driver the whole night until 3 o'clock in the morning. When I went to sleep it was 4 o'clock. So I'm going to see the Qatars for you. So I'm glad to be uh, away from Nice. So here it's better to plant the tents and all that and sleep. In Nice there was no place. They're all living on each other there. There's no place. So these are my tent poles. They get wet, so you don't want to have them inside with your dust bag, your sleeping bag. Always put them at the outside and don't put them together in one compartment with your tent and all that. Because while moving, it'll make holes. Like this, this is sharp. It makes, it makes holes in your tent. It happened to me. It's just experience. Well, there's the tent, I'm just going to put it together. So for a warrior, it's very important to have a good night's sleep, uh, otherwise you're worth nothing. It's more important than eating. And anyway, the society is so rich that there are, and there's su such an abundance on food that there's enough crumbs falling off the table to feed yourself. So it's very important to have all the little items, like here's my toothbrush and all that, that goes in this little pouch here, which goes again 
in the compartment like here and otherwise you you're crazy like looking for things and here I sew these little pouches on it on my Bergen like the nail clipper some batteries so uh, it's easy to find and in here I've got my uh, ray electric razor so um, otherwise you're just crazy looking for things so every item should be at its place and inside like a little pouch like this or like this and I've got many others and uh, yeah so here's my isolation mattress outside and there I've got my tent poles in here outside my pegs are in here and they go in there my water bottle outside of course because you don't want it to open uh, accidentally yeah uh, that's about traveling. My uh, this is the getaway gear. Uh, yeah, and then I've got the big pack at the back, and this little pack in front, where I have an easy grip on the uh, on my camera inside. Yeah, I've got a spoon in here. Yeah, I've got an extra torch in here. I've got there's my uh, my shades. A little pouch here at the side. I've got my maps inside. Here I've got my uh, my headlamp. So I've got my headlamp for long duration, and then I've got a little strong torch for just to have a quick look. And uh, another pouch with uh, batteries and things. Like that. And it's uh, so the weight isn't that much anymore because the weight of the other of this bag here it goes on the straps here so it's um, and of course uh, so so the weights which is on my shoulders it's it's not hurting that much and uh, it, it shifts the weight a bit to the front with some weight here in the little bag yeah yeah so this is traveling you have to be organized then I've got sewn on my jacket this little lamp here, so if I'm hitchhiking people can see me and it's less dangerous. And I've got another another one there for a quick quick grip. See. So mothers make warriors out of your sons. So the pharaohs can't snatch them and to make soldiers out of them and to use them against yourselves. So here in Carcassonne, that's where I'm sleeping, and there is the castle, behind the trees here, very nice. So here's a castle in Carcassonne, it's winter time so there's not many tourists. Here's a lovely park here next to it and especially in the night or in the evening, I was here last night, it's completely deserted and look how nice it looks to put your tent. It's dark and you think well nobody's gonna pass until the morning but at least two or three times in the night the security guy will pass by and will tell you to pick up your tent and take all your stuff. I didn't even try it because I know these things. Or some crazy people come and sit here and um, use drugs, you know, or um, do other things or queers. So if you want to find a good place, you have to really go outside where people can have an access to, where people walk, places where people, where a lot of people walk in the daytime and you think it's deserted in the night. These, these are not good places. Good places are places that are deserted during the daytime as well. So, and where no cars have an access to. If there's a parking lot next to it, don't do it. As there's a parking lot here. Uh, because uh, there are queer coming in the night, queers coming in the night, all sort of things like that. So you have to find a place where the cars don't pass. Or, yeah. Okay, it was just a little information for the ones, for the YouTubers who'd like to go and uh, see each other. 
or if you think this is a great place to put your tent because it's dark in the night and deserted, there's nobody there, well, don't do it. Uh, in the day, it's full of people, as you can see here. And there's the parking lot, which is over there. So, that's not very good. This is where I slept. And here is uh, Montségur. It's bloody cold here. South of France. A lot of snow. A little mattress like this, like foam, it's very important. Like if you're traveling winter as I do, you want to sit down sometimes and otherwise you can't sit in the snow, you know, it, uh, it gets cold and it melts. There's the castle. A burrage. So why wouldn't, why wouldn't I put my tent like here? Well, because here's a fireplace and people might come like in the night and all the sparks will co would come on my tent. Well, the wind is coming from the left side. So I'll put it like there. I don't think there will be anybody coming here. It is a Wednesday. If it would be a Saturday, there would be more chance. And it is winter. If it would be like summertime, there would be even more chance. But still, I don't want to take the risk, you know, I, want to, I don't want to take my tent away, you know, like in the middle of the night. So I put it quietly there and I just, so here they saw the UFOs here. So I'm just going to sit here for a while, put on my jacket. These are important things if you're traveling, you know, uh, anticipate the behavior of others. The road to the pyramids, February. 2013 in Germany I call it Germany so my water has turned to ice ice in it well And there's the petrol station. I can't see the screen. And there's the petrol station. So, here's the motorway. Now these sort of things a traveller never leaves behind. He folds it up, puts it in his trousers and throws it away later on in a garbage can. Like this, because we respect the nature. Now I can put it on my, in my pocket. February uh, 2013. February 2013, on the way back. Uh, you see, always hide. This is here in Switzerland, especially in this sort of countries, due to the evil character of the people here. They always uh, try to harm you in this country, the Swiss do. They come with the police, they call the police and try to fine you, try to put you in prison. Uh, yes, yeah, always hide. So I'm here behind the wall, you see? So. I couldn't stay it all day, but at least I can sleep like until noon. Now, which one of those is going to take me? 